Hey, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you missed the video one, two, and three, I'll leave the card on the top right portion of the screen. Make sure you check it out. Also, if you are enjoying the Deadman World content, a simple like goes a long way. It helps the video get out there. And with that being said, hopefully you will enjoy another Deadman Mode video. 65 Slayer, just accomplished, really, really nice. 10 more levels till we unlock one of the really consistent money-making methods. And there it is, 68 attack right after. Two more attack levels until we start really pushing that strength up there. So pretty happy, 11 left on the test, don't have any prayer potions left. So I'll be flicking the rest of it. Here we go, that's pretty good. And here we go, 70 attack is now accomplished. And from here on onwards, I'm basically just hard training strength until the point there that I can get myself a whip and then we even the stats out a little bit, but pretty nice. Um, yeah, I don't have enough money for a whip nearly like, and I won't have it for a while, I think, until we get to 75 Slayer. 66 Slayer, nice. 72 strength coming in and 700 total, nice. I mean, that one sounds pretty dangerous to me, to be honest. 73 strength, pretty cool, pretty cool. I still have 19 fire giants left on the task, so going quite all right. All right, new task for Ankus, beautiful. Here we go, 67 Slayer. What is that, like eight more levels to go to our goal? 74 strength coming in, nice. All right, let's see, for next task is Worms. Oh, that's so out of the way though. A little bit of an update. Um, we decided that we wanted to do a little bit of Wildy Slayer maybe. We'll see what tasks we got. I also upgraded to a Magic Shortbow with Rune Arrows. Rune Arrows for going for about 150 gold right now. So that's kind of good. We're going to take a task, we're going to buy an Imbue Scroll for our MSB, and then we're going to do the task. So Fire Giants, I am most certainly going to die if I do that task. 79 range coming in, nice, very nice. So the reason why we actually swapped to Wildy Slayer, well mainly because just getting ranged up would be very beneficial early on, because then I can kind of fight off if someone attacks me. But more importantly, you can get Laren Keys and you can get uh, Mysterious Emblems. And Laren Keys, actually, if you when you open them, like each one is about... You can get like anything, obviously, but they can be from about 100 to 150k each easily. So we're going to be hunting for those and uh, they might be able to pay us for a whip at, uh, you know, eventually. So just going to stick with Wildy Slayer for a little bit. All right, let's see. What do we get? Please a good task. No, no, no. Stop pickpocketing. Assignment. Ice Warriors, but like, I'm really unlucky with these tasks, I think. Well, I guess skip another one. All right, let's see, here we go. Hellhounds, okay, let's do this, let's do this. Hellhounds, I think, are fine. At least like 50 people, no joke. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? I see BA, dude. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shit, here we go again, dude. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, we're fighting, dude. I don't give a fuck. Alright, alright. Let's go then. You? Ha! <laughs> Let's go, dude. What's up? Go on. <laughs> oh, fuck. This guy's kind of strong, though. Dude, what is happening? What did I just create? <laughs> Wait, fuck it. Let's go for him. Alright, DMMT, let's fuck him up, dude. Oh, let's go, that's one, that's one. Let's get the, let's get the rest, dude, I'm with you. That was one. Easy for keys. Dude, I genuinely... Yo, we shared that, man. I was responsible for half of those. Imagine, like, I get to, like, 99 range. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck? Yo, wait, give me the emblems, dude. Hold up. Wait. Yes, yes, money. Wait, that's actually a lot of fucking cash right here. Like prayer potions and shit. Restores. We loot everything. Dude, that was fun. Holy shit. That was genuinely fun. How much did we get from that? 200k D scimitars and shit? Yo, I'm taking that home, man. I'm taking that to the bank. Let's go, man. Let's go. Emblem time. Thank you. Oh my god, a champion. Where's he going? He's gonna get roasted by the dragon. Oh, he's so lucky. He's gonna get roasted. No, he survived. Where's he going, though? <laughs> he's exploring the world, man. Bless his heart. He's a tank, man. 30 combat tank. 
By the way, if you guys are playing Deadman mode, hop in the CC, really. Even if you're not, just hop in. Revive World 45? It's honestly getting revived, man. You'd be surprised. I think Swarly, I think I prefer the idea of them being in the bounty shop rather than increasing any drop rates because I feel like increasing drop rates just ruins the game. When they started increasing drop rates of like the whips and then they added the PvP weapons and shit, they just fucked it, in my opinion. Oh, there it is, 80 range already, nice. That's really good, I'm happy with that. Probably gonna try to aim for like 85 range. Oh, there it is, that's what we are after, Laran Ski. That's like a, literally worth 100k right there, minimum. That's what we want to get. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? No. Every night, I can feel my leg. My arm, even my fingers, the body I've lost. I have nothing left. Alright, so here we go. Two more logs burn and there we go. This is now 50 fire making, I'll need this for desert treasure. I need to get to 53 thieving next, so let's do that. I ended up getting a bunch of stats for some quests, this is going to be 53 thieving and I have now most of the requirements for a desert treasure. I'm still gonna have to get a bunch of things and like herb lore and stuff for like pre-quest and whatnot. Um, but I'm not quite sure, I think I might wanna go and finish my Hellhound Slayer task because I have a feeling that I will die again. So I might as well do it now when I don't risk as much and just finish off the task. Um, this is my bank, it's really nothing special, so I'm um, probably just gonna take, get some prayer potions, monk robes, and just AFK and train melee as I do it. I'm not gonna risk a black mask, or I could also just train range and do it with range, I'm not quite sure. I'll figure something out, and then I'll do it. So, let's finish off the task, probably get another slayer level, and then at the later date, I'm gonna be, you know, questing again. Alright, I just about scrambled enough money to afford some prayer potions, and I'm just gonna go back there and just AFK it. Um, probably gonna die again, and if I die I lose, I, I really don't want to lose the Dragon Defender, that's one thing I don't want to lose, because I don't want to go back there and get another one, uh, but yeah, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens, um, I hopefully don't die here, I think I have like, what, 50 left on the task or something like that, um, but yeah, if I die, I die, happens, and uh, I'll have to then really, really rebuild, but if I die, I'm running back here for this Defender, unless I forget, I really don't want to forget about it, because, yeah, I don't want to go through the struggle of Warriors Guild again, um, but yeah, uh, range is looking good. Uh, the reason why I do it here, right, a lot of people are like, why are you doing it here and not in the Deep Wildy? Well, here at least I have a chance of escaping. If I get hit in the Deep Wilderness by a team, there's literally not a single way I can escape here. All I need to do is tank to here, and then I'm fine. Then I basically survive. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna chill here in the AFK. Probably gonna hit and then move here. Nice, first emblem. I'll use this one to buy my looting bag back. Because uh, obviously I lost it when I died. Um, also got the 79 hit points there just recently. I'm kind of doing it pretty close to save zone. So I shouldn't really be dying. But maybe I die. Like if they come in and insta barrage me. And I don't make it to single strip. Which is literally three steps. I'll probably die. But hopefully that won't be the case. I just need to pay a bit of attention. Another emblem. Beautiful. That's two of them. So nice little rebuild money right there. And leg spike. Okay. Not bad. No way, wait, 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 I'm getting PK'd, hold on. They're getting PK'd by a guy in snare, I see BA. Alright, well, if I had better gear, I could totally take this guy on, but I didn't, so it's fine, we just tip it out, it's all good. And blem. I also decided to take a little bit more risk, and I have black mask, but I also brought phoenix necklace. Um, because I want to do this task, you know, as fast as possible, pretty much. Ooh, 75 strength, nice. I can't be fucked, dude. Alright, let's see. Turov, what the fuck? Alright, here we go, let's use this, yup. Trade, um, magic short bow scroll, yup, boom, imbue, yup, and then trade, and then looting bag, yup, and then, oh, I didn't need to use that emblem on it, oh well, 
and we can now go skip the task. I might be ranging again. Maybe I'll... Uh, I can't decide what, what Slayer I want to do. I feel like if I'm ranging, I should do Wildy Slayer. And if I'm milling, I should, should do Neve Slayer. We'll see. Ah, uh, Carl fights Reap. Let's give Wildy Slayer another shot. Fuck it, I I'm consistently changing my mind. I need to stop that, but we get Ankus. And Ankus, I think, are pretty decent. I think I'm pretty safe up there. I have some escapes, so let's go do it. 69 Slayer coming in already, and um, if you guys noticed, right, we are not getting experience as fast as people would think, because, you know, I'm used to seasonal experience, and I'm used to Deadman mode experience, and that is 15x XP, uh, while, ge the ne like, while the generic Deadman mode is only 5 times XP, so obviously we're getting XP pretty much slower, but here it is, man. First mysterious emblem of this task, we'll take it, very nice. Back to back mysterious emblems. Interesting, interesting. We'll take that one as well. Emblem number three. One step closer to 99 range. Here is 81. 34 left on the task. Three emblems so far. So I'm almost done with my Anku task and before I fully end the video I would just like to invite you guys to join the CC Mika DMM. During the peak times this is usually very very full and as you can see we got a lot of new players playing World 40 45 Deadman mode and if you want to join World 45 why not join the CC as well and just give it a shot. It's super fun, it's way like it's way more different than regular RuneScape because you never know when you're gonna get attacked by people. You don't need to be a good PKer to play this game mode. A lot of people have that miss like miss um, misrepresentation or whatever because I personally cannot fight any PKers at this point or very few um, so it's for the first part of my basically Deadman mode series it's more of a survival game mode rather than a PKing game mode and then once I do get my stats which will take a little bit of time obviously then at that point it will start being a PKing game mode um, but either way I'm super excited uh, to keep going to keep playing uh, these are kind of like my daily vlogs at this point it's, it's really interesting, right? Because I just do RuneScape stuff and then I make a video at the end of the day. And even if it's not completely full of content, it still is kind of full of content because it's Deadman mode. You never know when it's, when something's going to happen and you can record it and put it in a video. Absolutely loving it, by the way. So, super excited to see where this takes us and uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. A lot of Deadman mode videos are going to happen in, uh, you know, fairly short amount of time and also on Thursday LMS comes out so we're gonna be playing that a lot and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say um hopefully you enjoyed I'll see you again hopefully tomorrow if not tomorrow in two days and yeah thank you for watching have a good day bye bye